One more time. Close. Okay, so let's say I let me off it. Oh, this is a normal PC. Yeah. So I went to this product launch by this company called Play for Dream. They have a mixed reality headset that is launching soon. And I got the opportunity to test it out. They took a short video of me in 3D using the headset. I was ushered to the next area whereby they customized my headset. They took some measurement of my eyes and etc and then they did a nice fitting on it so that I can wear comfortably for the next 10 to 15 minutes. They also showed me the controller and sort of teach me how to use it. Um, it looks just like those controllers that you found on PS5 etc. So nothing special about it. As you can see, each headset is customized to the person so they'll take some time to adjust it correctly before being used and now adjusting the headset to fit my head and also final adjustment before I move to the next area this area is to showcase their immersive view so any 3D video that is taken can be shown in immersive view just now when I came here they took a video of me using a V sign and now I'm being played back the same video so that I can see for myself that it is very immersive there are other examples like this lady blowing bubbles onto me and you can literally feel the bubble around you it's very very immersive this is another great example this cosplay whereby they are in a hall and I almost feel that I'm inside the same hall as them and it, you see, I keep moving my head around and it can show, it can be shown on this video. What you have seen just now are all mixed variety whereby I can see what is around me. But now, this example is to show how you can remove away the variety part and then you immerse yourself into another landscape like this. Moving on to the next demo area, this is really interesting because they map the whole area. I wonder if you can see or not. Now they have mapped the sofa with this lady and in fact what I see was a lady in front of the sofa blowing bubbles again and it was really really immersive as if she was really there. And they also throw in some jellyfish all over the places whereby it's almost like I can reach out to them and when you go nearer to them in fact they make some sound or some music or some noise and you really can hear them clearly and also if you notice there's an aquarium on my left and also there's a TV in front of me it was so real like as if they were really there in fact you can see it's just a blank wall but what I saw was a TV set and also a aquarium and once you go near the TV you can really hear the sound of the TV it's like when you get near to it the sound gets louder and this is really really very very immersive In the next demo zone, I was introduced some game, VR game that is quite interesting, like a boxing game and also a table tennis game. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Okay. Stop for you. Okay. As you can hear, I was painting when playing the game because it's quite tiring. Next, we went to this computing zone whereby I have a VR sort of computer in front of me and I can actually use the keyboard and the mouse to 
to use it as a normal computer. So in this demo, it has only two screen that I can move around and in my opinion, it's quite doable because I feel that there's a really a screen in front of me and I'm really working on the computer. It's a Play for Dream MR. So this device is very similar to another devices but it has a very similar very similar experience and of course uh, weight wise I think it's very well balanced okay in terms of the weight I believe the uh, during the demonstration or oh, during the presentation it mentioned 3 is to 2 kind of uh, weight ratio I think that's very good and the uh, VR and the quality is quite good also of course in the bright environment I think the quality is important and this will make you feel like you're not wearing a headset yeah that's it thank you thank you yeah. now let's review the price it is about 2000 usd and targeted to release at the end of this year